So this description, I'm going to say the description on this, on the Venture one is misleading. It's not 180 degrees of coverage. I would say it's all moving maybe 30 degrees in either direction. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa. Hey guys, and welcome back to Terra Tech with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. If you haven't already, please subscribe. <laughs> so it's been a minute with uh, Terra Tech. You know, there was really nothing new popping up. There was nothing really new to do. So I was, you know, kind of lost a little bit of interest in Terra Tech. But uh, they finally added some new stuff, which uh, not all of it. I don't, from what I've read in the patch note, it doesn't sound like all of it is in the game. But there are some new items which are going to be pretty awesome uh, when they're fully in the game. I think as far as I know, one of them is, the other ones aren't. Anyways, the new items are shields. And, you know, we're always like, well, whatever, shield bubbles or shield bubbles. Well, these aren't shield bubbles, which is actually really cool. Uh, we'll go through them really quickly here. We'll go to the better future ones and go here. So there's one, two, three, four new types of shields. Uh, the Better Future Flat Shield, the Better Future Edge Shield, the Better Future Corner Shield, and then the Better Future Long Flat Shield. Uh, I will show you guys these in a second. We'll just read the description really quickly here. Usually used in conjunction with other directional shield blocks to create a protective barrier uh, exactly where you need it. The shield projector provides your tech with excellent directional focused defense at a moderate pa a passive power consumption rate. This one is flat to fill the gap. Uh, in your defenses, obviously they all have the same one or description for the most part other than um, What they do right like this one is obviously a corner. So it's just a corner dome This one is rounded and this one's kind of small flat and then this one is a large flat <laughs> So I'll spawn in the first vehicle here uh, Right here. Oh, just so you guys know too. I Thought I uploaded all of my super large texts to uh Steam, so that you guys could download them. Uh, apparently, I hadn't. So today, I went through and I uploaded all of them. So the, the Hover Harvester, the Money Maker, Massive Harvester, the Monster Geocorp, and then just the Monster. Uh, they're all uploaded to Steam now. But here we go. We will swap with this guy. So I've put just built the you know a garbage uh, tech for the most part. But we do have all of the different shield bubbles on here, or the shield projectors, because that's what they are. They're projectors. They're not a bubble. Uh, so this one is the corner. Uh, this is the edge. And then we have the large, or the long flat shield here, and then we have the small flat shields here. So we'll anchor in. Mm -hmm. I really like these. I like. Uh, it's definitely going to... For building techs, it'll definitely make it a little bit different, right? Because if you make a hover tech, usually if you're flying at the maximum height, or even if you make a flyer, um, you're not going to get hit from the top too much, right? Most of the techs are going to be on the ground if you're flying at maximum height. With, or sorry, if you're hovering at maximum height, most techs are going to be shooting you from underneath. So these curved ones will definitely be good for just putting underneath your tech, right? Like you, you'll be able to reduce the power consumption, I guess, in a sense. Um, to just underneath your tech, right? Uh, but as you guys can see, so it's hard to see the shield when you're looking dead on with it. Like, obviously, we're looking at it right here. So I'm going to have to put everything to the side. So this long, flat one is actually pretty good. It starts right about here. So just middle, yeah, middle of this front wheel. And it goes right to the end of our tech, just a little bit past it. And the distance... From your tech is actually pretty good so splash damage shouldn't be a big issue with that one uh or with any of these ones being projected right uh there's enough of a bubble here that i think if you took you know a, um, a couple of missiles to the side it the splash damage shouldn't hit you at all this one's pretty cool once again that's that's what would be nice about or for hovercrafts um airplanes and stuff like that just put it underneath your tech boom It'd be nice for, hmm, I was going to say for repair bu uh, repair bubbles, but no, it, it'd be useless. A repair bubble would be useless like this. Um, but yeah, like, and just for the size of this block, 
versus how much it covers uh there's a million and one different places you could put this right and as you can you guys can see in the front here we have like four bubbles we have obviously the the corner one <laughs> i have them side by side so it's made a perfect half circle or semicircle and it comes out quite a bit so the one thing i was wondering about this uh obviously because we have like how many bubbles do we have here one two three four four bubbles right in the front here uh i, I shouldn't call them bubbles but anyways four projectors right in the front I'm just wondering about stacking, right? But <sighs> kind of hard to figure that out. So we'll, we'll drive up here real quick. And you guys can watch the battery con power consumption here. We don't have a lot of ba power to begin with, right? But as you guys can see, it's pretty good. Now the AI, if you do have... Uh, here, we'll just back up because it will probably take a lot of damage here. So the splash damage from those mini mortars wasn't too bad. Um... So, oh, darn, I wanted to say something here. So, the projectors, the edge projectors, projectors, I had to put them down low so they were into the ground. If they're not low enough into the ground, the AI will actually shoot right underneath them and will go for your wheels, which is kind of funny. And we didn't go over these small ones. But look at how small one of these, obviously it's a one by one block, but that's got to be what... At least a 6x6, six six, maybe a 5x5 five five block that it covers. And you're just putting, you know, a small 1x1 one one in the area. So this shield, this one is pretty good. Like, really, they're all good. Um, this one's nice, though, just because it's a 1x1. One one, you're going to be able to sneak this in pretty much anywhere, right? And then you can obviously stack on top of stack on top of stack, right? So you might be able to make, like, if you have enough battery power, you might be able to make, like... An unbreakable in a sense uh, shield bubble which kind of sounds a little weird but you know if you never have to worry that uh, splash damage or anything like that's gonna make it through um, why not get close right and obviously with these bubbles let's say uh, you're not worried about the back end of you ever getting attacked so you can just put a repair bubbles there and then just you know, go insane on the front of your vehicle with shield bubbles. But uh, those are the better future shield projectors. Uh, the new ones are, as far as I know, the better future ones are in the game. Uh, the ones that aren't in the game, as far as I know, but they might be, is the reticle research ones. So we'll swap text here. And once again, I've just put... All of them on here or on this tech as much as I could. Uh, but as we're waiting for a charge to come in, we'll go over the blocks. With reticle research, quite a few of them. <laughs> so you got a reticle reacher, yeah, research, sorry. Small edge phalanx shield, uh, tapered edge phalanx shield, small phalanx shield, uh, tapered phalanx, long tapered, long phalanx and then what is this one research corner phalanx shield uh large phalanx shield and then tapered a long tapered phalanx shield so uh as you guys can see let's see mm, really hard to get the the size of them let's go like that let's move that one over so as you guys can see the outline of this one right in front we're looking at this block i'll try and back up a little bit you guys can see it's kind of tapered, obviously, everywhere. Oh, there we go. A little bit better side view here. <laughs> uh, not, obviously, the projector isn't as big as or as far away from the vehicle as the better future ones are. Still cool looking little uh, shield, though. And once again, with, I guess, technically, with these being so small and not projecting so far. You do have overlap, right? So this one is overlapping this one, as you guys can see in the back here. And that's pretty much what makes the phalanx strong, right? That's why, you know, the Spartans were so good with that formation. And why that formation lasted for so long is because one shield protected the one beside it. But anyways, <laughs> uh, up top here. Uh, yeah, you can see this one a lot better. You can see how it's 
nice corner piece or triangular. And then these ones, there's so there's two different styles here, you guys. I think I have them all on here. Yeah, I do. So obviously the picture on the block, this, the brown part uh, depicts what is being uh, projected out to the front here. The sides seem to be actually projected further. Yeah, they are. So these smaller ones are projected further than the, the larger ones. As you guys can see, the gap between isn't as uh, far, which is all right. But as you guys can see, these are all triangular pieces, uh, triangular one by ones. And they project a, a square one by one. Uh, these ones, which ones are these? Uh, so the small tapered phalanx. Uh, as you guys can see, actually, they project, they are one, one by one, flat, that sits on a flat surface, but it projects, what, uh, two, two by two coverage, which, you know, can be handy, one by one in the back here, same thing, flat, and then on this side, we have the corner ones, uh, tapered edge on the side here, try and get a better view of that. Once again, kind of difficult. Uh, I don't even know if there's a way to turn those up. Either way, <laughs> they project a two by one ish, but they're tapered, right? So all situational where you want to put them and stuff like that. Uh, and then on the sides here, obviously we have the tapered large or long and then uh, the long phalanx and you know, they're pretty cool. I want to say they might be in the game just because they're skinned out. But they might not be, so yeah, we'll have to see. But either way, you're going to be able to see something. So watch the charge on our batteries. Um, we're going to take a bunch of damage here. Let's see, how far can he reach? Okay. Now from what i am noticed between these ones and the better future, is that these ones actually don't seem to take as much damage. As quickly like they don't drain your battery as quickly obviously you could see parts of our vehicle were taking damage that is the only issue i think there is with this phalanx one so what we'll try and do here is i'll get a little bit of a charge and we'll turn sideways and as you guys can see like in between i guess right here along the top edge here there's a gap in between shields and a gap in between shields here so I'll try and turn sideways, and we'll see if any if anything on the side takes damage. Because I'm wondering if uh, if it just looks like that, or if it's an actual weak spot in your shields. Like, is the AI going to be able to hit that? And it definitely well, yeah. So it is. The AI can definitely put a bullet between that. You guys can see there was a couple of. Uh, it's where he actually, the AI found the weak spot. So, yeah, I guess with these, you'd really have to build the tech. Like, if you're going to use these on the finishing touches, I guess you'd say, um, you're definitely going to have to figure out a way to, or over, more overlap, sorry, more overlap with the shield bubbles. But I was just thinking as we were talking about that, is that obviously the AI and even ourselves, when we attack another tech, Usually we it automatically locks on to where the your cab is and just keeps firing there, right? Like whatever weapon you're using. So you could actually probably build a tech, put these shields around it, and then um, continue building your tech around it, right? So if they ever if they ever got past the your outer shields and through your I guess outer defenses towards your cab, uh, you might be able to put something in the w or put these in the way so that you don't have to worry about your cab taking damage and there we go so as you guys can see you can put a shield this shield bubble or uh projector in front of it or on a wall and then build blocks up from underneath it and the shield bubble or projector projects into that block so if this block gets destroyed uh the bubble itself, or the projector itself, should automatically take its place, right? Let's see if we can't get the AI to destroy that block. Oh, look at that. You know this block is getting hit. Oops. Oh, there we go. <laughs> 
All right, let's try something else here real quick. So let's go like that. I guess that's the worst part about this. This is like uh, with the shield bubbles. Having so many, like if you put like a 200 on your attack, it would take forever. Just like solar panels, right? As soon as you have 200 solar panels on your vehicle, as soon as you anchor in, it takes forever for anything to happen there. Let's, come on. Just, oh, we're still anchored in. I was like, why am I getting pulled back? This legitimately is not making any sense to me. Go like that. Okay, so that block is to, just took damage. So let's go like this. Still took damage. So this. Okay, we gotta find a turret that's gonna do splash damage. I'm, I think this is a glitch. I think if you glitch the bubble into the block, it can't take. Uh, I'm sure the, I'm sure it's still draining power. Don't, don't get me wrong there. I'm sure it's still draining power, but the block just isn't gonna just dis be destroyed right off the bat. Let's see, what do we got here? Nope. Oh, gotta keep going. Need something with a little more boom. And we gotta be careful too, because I know there's uh there should be some missile turrets here somewhere. There's also one other shield bubble that I almost forgot. Oh. And you know what? Let's put it on here too, because I do want to try it out. But I didn't build a tech for it, and that that is Venture. So Venture has this one, which is the Venture Projector Tracking Shield. This one features an advanced enemy tracking technology, which allows you which allows the shield to rotate on a 180 degree axis to face your enemies. The passive battery drain is moderate, blah, blah, blah. Um, as you guys can see, it's actually fairly, you know, it's a half sized and decent, decently sized uh, projector. And the place where this would be the best is right on the back end of your vehicle, I think. Um, I just want to see it to actually track. Oh, it moves super fast, too. Oops. Well, as long as we're not taking damage, that is. I would have thought it... I thought it was going to be a little bit slower than that. Oop. What? We're out of power? I thought I anchored in a second ago. One second, you guys. But yeah, that's actually pretty cool. That uh, It's a super fast, so... Definitely. These would definitely be great on the back of your tech obviously because you most of the time we don't put weapons facing backwards or i don't at least i do have some text to it but not a ton uh facing backwards to deal with anything that comes behind me right i have shield bubbles and you know repair bubbles in the rear end of my vehicle but uh with the speed of this you could probably you, you definitely still need a, a weapon aiming back there but at least with these shields you wouldn't have to put a, a bubble there just for the fun of it right or because you feel like eventually you're gonna get attacked in the rear whatever i just said really doesn't make much sense does it <laughs> these are gonna be better than a shield bubble that's all i'm gonna say depending on how much damage they can take uh or i shouldn't even say how much damage they can take it's all about uh, uh how quickly they drain your battery okay we're taking damage here okay finally that block is taking damage So the question is, is this block taking damage because we have the shield projectors on it? Oops. It wasn't taking damage. Now it's taking damage. Oh. It's taking damage there. I think it's about to break. That's why it's blinking. One second here, you guys. I'm just going to put another block on here. Like this. Okay, so I might have just been a little bit of, a little bit of a glitch. Either way, that's actually pretty cool. But yeah, no, I like the, 
Adventure ones are actually pretty cool. So, let's go like this real quick. Just because we need to really take a look at these uh, venture ones. Come on. Uh, that's 180 degrees. So if we go like this. Oh. It's like they want to move, but they can't. Now, is it because of these? We might die here. Uh, actually, let's just respawn our Tekken. It's interesting to see what we're going on here. So, there, venture. Oh, we gotta wait for our power batteries to power up. A little bit faster. Any day now. Come on. Yeah. See? <laughs> this struggles. Okay. But I also want to check. We're gonna do this two different ways. So, go like that. And then also I'm gonna go like this. So we have them projected two different ways here, as you guys can see. Side to side and side to side. Um, when we were taking damage there, you could see the bubbles on the... The top want, want it to move at certain points, but not all the time. So I'm seeing it. I wonder if the venture ones only rotate a certain way. So the ones at the front are rotating. Not super good. I thought it's at 180 degrees. The ones on top just do not want to rotate. Kind of interesting. I don't know. It says 180. Whatever. They tracked your enemy. Can be good. Could be bad. Who knows? Hold on. Let's go like this real quick. Real quick. Alright. Shield bubble. Here. Okay, what's going on here? There we go. For some reason, it's been a little difficult to try and get uh, to click on stuff. Okay. So the reason I did this is so if you were to have a gun, let's say... Which one rotates 360 degrees? I think the Hailfire rifles do. So we're going to attack this guy pretty much straight on. So both of these should actually move in front to block his attacks then i'm going to try and spin around and as i spin around they should keep rotating to protect that gun obviously the cpu or the ai is not going to be aiming for the gun but it's going to be there right see that's not 90 degrees yeah it's definitely not 90 degrees So this description, I'm going to say the description on this, on the Venture one is misleading. It's not 180 degrees of coverage. Um, I would say it's all moving maybe 30 degrees in either direction. Because see, okay, you see how it's lined up right now? Now if we rotate even more, like this shield by itself should be pretty much dead center of us right now. But it's not. So that's not... You know, 90 would be off of this edge, straight forward. And it's not doing that. 
just so you guys know. So yeah, a little dis it's a little misleading there, talking about 90 degrees. Uh, I don't know how this guy died. I don't think we shot that many times, but hey. Yeah, we won one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Honey, I'm a